Hello Year 4, welcome to your English learning video. The video is going to come in a, a three different parts because I'm going to talk you through each different writing activity. You're also going to need to access the Google Drive and you're going to need to go to week 11 and then you'll need to, going to click on the English folder to find all the things that you're going to need, all the scaffolds that you're going to need to help you with your writing this week. This one is really important. This one here is the sheep pig book that you're going to be expected to read. Uh, it'd be lovely if you read it aloud to your parents. All the chapters are there and we will read the whole book. So when we're looking at the learning, I only want you to read and look at the chapters that I'm asking you to look at. Otherwise, we might spoil it if we jump ahead. OK, so I'm going to explain to you what your learning is going to be this week. Like I said, it'll be in a three short video clips. A little bit of information about Dick King Smith, the author, just to get you started. Um, he's written lots and lots of children's books. He's got millions of fans and he's a best-selling children author, children's author. You might recognise some of the books that he has also written there. And if you really enjoy The Sheep Pig, then maybe you might want to have a look at another one of Dick King Smith's novels. So we're going to move over to the first slide. Now, I want us to think about the theme as we are reading this book, the central message. What is Dick King Smith trying to tell us? What does he want us to learn about? And usually he doesn't tell us. We've got to infer it. We've got to use all the information that he's writing to infer, to find out what the theme is. Now, I've got the front cover and the blurb here and I just want to read the blurb so we can have a think about what do we know already and what could the themes be so when babe the orphaned piglet well orphaned means that she hasn't got a family or he hasn't got a family so our theme could be family or it could be loneliness is one at a fair by farmer hoggett he is adopted by fly the kind-hearted sheep dog so adopted means he's being looked after by Fly. So that could mean friendship or love. Babe is determined to learn everything he can from Fly. He knows he can't be a sheepdog, but maybe, just maybe, he might be a sheep pig. So it could be a theme of um, choices. So he wants to be a sheepdog and he wants to learn everything that he can. But as we read through, we're going to find more and more information about all of these characters and that will help us identify, hopefully, the themes in the book. So now I want us to think about some reading. So I'd like you to read chapter one. And as you're reading chapter one with your reader's mind on, I want you to focus in on three different lenses. We're going to call them lenses. I want you to focus in on what you notice. And that's going to help you think about the description of the two characters, Mrs. Hoggett and Farmer Hoggett. Are there any words in there that describe how they look? What do you notice? I also want you to look through the lens of action. And what do their actions tell us about these two characters? Also, your third lens is dialogue or the speech. So I want you to think about not just what they say, but how they say it and when they say it. And that will also give you some ideas about their character. And what I'd like you to do is as you're reading and thinking about those three lenses with your reader mind on, I want you to be writing on here on your note paper now you can download it from the google drive it's here or you can just write your own notes on your own bit of paper okay so now that you've read chapter one i just want to have a little look at some pieces of text in a little bit more detail and here's the first one i knows that said mrs hoggett because I'm late now with all these ear cakes and jams and pickles and preserves as is meant to be on the produce store this very minute. And who's going to take them there? I'd like to know. Why, you are. But before you does, what's that noise? Now here, Dick King Smith has written a bit of speech that Mrs Hoggett has said. Now it, it tells us a little bit about her. I can see from looking at the text and from reading it that there's a capital letter there. And there are lots and lots 
of commas throughout this bit of writing and no full stop. So I had to read that with all one breath. That tells me that Mrs Hoggett likes to talk and she talks really quickly. Also, by this little bit at the end, what's that noise? It's a question. So could she be a little bit nosy? I wonder if you found out any more evidence in the text to support those two ideas. If you haven't written those down, then this is a good opportunity to stop and jot down those things that we've just talked about. OK, moving on to another little bit of text from chapter one. This time we're going to be thinking about actions. And again, we're going to be thinking about dialogue, about the speech, but how the speech is different between Mr. Hoggett, Farmer Hoggett and Mrs. Hoggett. So Mrs. Hoggett nodded a great many times. Everything that she did was done at great length, whether it was speaking or simply nodding her head. Farmer Hoggett, on the other hand, never wasted his energies or his words. So that tells us something about those two characters. Pig, he said. Mrs. Hoggett nodded a lot more. I thought was a pig. I said to myself, that's a pig, that is. Only no one round here do keep pigs. Tis all sheep for miles about. What's a pig doing, I said to myself. Anybody think they were killing the poor thing? Have a look when you take all this stuff down, which you better do now. Come and give us a hand. It can go in the back of the Land Rover. It isn't raining. Twon't hurt. Wipe your boots before you comes in. Yes, said Farmer Hoggett. So we can see here that Mrs Hoggett, again, is speaking lots and lots and lots. And it tells us this here in the text. Everything she did was done at length, whether it was speaking or nodding her head. Farmer Hoggett, on the other hand, never wasted his energies. And you can see that he's replied with one single word here and one single word here. So that tells us something about his character. We can also see here in this bit of writing, we've got the word tisn't, twon't, a for, tis. And that's called dialect. That's local dialect for where the story is set. Now, it's probably set in the West Country, in Devon or Cornwall or Somerset. And because they're farmers, that's how they sometimes speak. So you could add that information to your sheet if you haven't written that down yet. So again, looking at the action here. Don't keep pigs, said Farmer Hoggett. He stretched out a long arm and scratched its back. Gently, he picked it up and held it before his face. It stayed quite still and made no sound. So he's talking about picking up the pig here. Scratched its back. Why would he scratch the pig's back? Does he think the pig has got an itch? Is he being kind to the pig? So does that tell us he's kind hearted? Who knows? The use of this adverb here gently at the start of the sentence tells us something about the way he handled the pig. What, was that, what does that tell us about Farmer Hoggett? I want us to look at this bit of text here and I want us to think about repetition. There is a word that's been repeated over and over again and that is a way of showing us that this is an important trait of Farmer Hoggett. Carefully, Farmer Hoggett put the piglet back in the pen. Carefully, he took a tenpence piece from his pocket and dropped it in the cardboard box. And carefully, he ran one finger down the list of guesses already in the vicar's notebook. So the use of the adverb carefully is repeated three times in that short paragraph. What does that tell you about Farmer Hoggett? Once again, slowly, thoughtfully, the farmer picked the piglet up. And again, there are two adverbs in that short sentence that would show you and tell you a little bit more about Farmer Hoggett. So I just wanted to share with you my notes that I made as I was reading through. And you can have a look at yours and see how, if they're the same or if they're different. So 
I'm not going to read through that. You can have a look at that yourself um, and add anything on there that you think you need to because we're going to use this in a minute for our little bit of writing that we're going to do. And we're going to write a character analysis. So we're going to analyse all the evidence that we've got on this sheet here and we're going to use that to write and compare these two characters. Now I've started you off by thinking about the dialogue and how that helps us. But I want you to write a couple more paragraphs using the description, the looking information and the action information. So, as I said before, you will find this useful bit in the Google Drive and there are some sentence scaffolds there to help you start your sentences. There are also some conjunctions and adverbials to help you compare and contrast Mrs. Hoggett and Farmer Hoggett because that's what I'd like you to do. So this is what I've written so far. Now this is just for you to look at. I don't want you to copy this, okay? Um, I want you, you can have a go at writing the dialogue section if you want to or you can just write the description and the action part. It's entirely up to you. So I've just given it a short introduction and you can copy and magpie this if you want to. During chapter one of The Sheep Pig by Dick King Smith, we are introduced to two characters, Farmer and Mrs Hoggett. They live on a farm which is located near a village in a quiet valley. I found that information in the chapter, so I wonder if you can find it. Dick King Smith has used dialogue as a tool to reveal certain character traits to his reader. Farmer Hoggett is a man of few words, and throughout the chapter we see his dialogue written as short, succinct sentences, sometimes just one or two words. And we saw that when we saw the word pig, and yes, didn't we? An example of this is when he is answering his wife's question about the noise. He replies with the single word pig. So there's my evidence. This shows that he doesn't want to or enjoys interacting with others and he could be a shy, reserved man. We don't know that, but that's what it tells me. This differs to Mrs Hoggett. We see from her dialogue that she loves to talk. The choice of the author to use lots of commas suggests that she doesn't stop for breath. And the use of question marks shows that she's inquisitive. She's a little bit nosy. She wants to know what's happening. Additionally, she has a local dialect demonstrated by the inclusion, so demonstrated by using the words twas, a for, and myself. So what I'd like you to do for your first lesson is I'd like you to finish this off by writing a comparing paragraph with the description and the action. So you can stop the recording now. This is the end of session one and come back and join me for session two a little bit later on. See you later. Bye.